Hey guys, welcome to the Hyana and the Effie collections. What I want to present to you is a new way we're displaying the furniture by using racking, putting the case pieces up and getting the beds down. Mom is really interested on what is the bed. How, how are we going to sleep? What's the size in the room? Is it twin? Is it full? Is it queen? Is it king? Did you know these come in twin, full, queen, king? They also come with storage. You can put storage in the ends. They can also go without storage. But the thing that the customer always does is they come and they open a drawer. They open the drawer. I'm not really sure why, but if you follow people around, you notice they open and close drawers. So I'm going to use this as my demonstration. So they're one-handed opening, one-handed close. If I've got a toddler on my hip or laundry in my hand, I don't have to set anything down to come over here and wrestle with the dresser to get this drawer out of the chest. The other thing you'll notice is that there are drawer stops on this chest. You're not gonna pull this drawer out and empty the contents on the floor. Your child's not gonna pull the drawer out onto themselves. The, the stops are positional. You just lift past them and pull them out. Often the customer will ask you, what is this made of? They're not looking for us to describe every single detail of something. What they're really asking is a durability question. What they're asking you is, will this hold up? And what I say is, I'm glad you asked. Do you have painted cabinets in your home? This is a similar substance to kitchen cabinets and bathroom cabinets. Don't believe me, run down to Home Depot or Lowe's, check any of their painted cabinets. It's an engineered board. What am I talking about? An engineered board is very consistent. This is a cross section. There's no open pockets, no open pores. It's consistent all the way through the board. It won't warp, it won't crack, it won't split. It's a very durable substance to build with. But how Ashley joins this drawer is very, very important. So the drawer box is built where we actually countersink the back rail into the side rail. There's a channel right here and it sits inside of it. Then it is nailed and glued into place. The way we put our drawer fronts on, we love to talk about dovetails. Most of our customers don't understand what we're talking about when we say dovetail. It's fine to use the term, but explain to them what you mean. It's a triangular channel it is a French dovetail that slides up in here. And what does it do? What's the benefit? It makes this joint stronger in the joint than the actual tensile strength of the board. And while I have the drawers sitting up on the side, I'll show them this rail system is set up where we could shoot screws into it. But Ashley doesn't do that because over time, a screw will back its way out. So we actually pass a rivet through the side of this drawer and it's fastened on both sides. This is not coming off. It is very, very durable. Lastly, we take our bottom and we actually countersink the bottom into a channel. So it's slid into the side, the front, the back, and the other side, and it slides in and then is glued into place. I'm a 200 pound man and I'm standing in a drawer upside down. So when someone asks you how this is made, it's not cheap. It's incredibly durable. It's inexpensive, but we use technology to deliver you a great product that is very, very durable. Now, the other thing that they ask is what is this? This finish, this has a texture to it. You can feel it. It has a real feel. And I'm pulling my wallet out because I use a driver's license to explain what this finish is. When they take that picture of me, that's a photograph, it's paper. But what do they do to it? They laminate it. The customer knows that. And then when you say why, they're gonna say, for durability. They know that to be true. These are common analogies. Everyone has kitchen cabinets. Everyone has a photo ID. Mr. Wanick says use common analogies and the customer will understand. I don't have to tell them anything. So I'm just using that common analogy. So kitchen cabinets and driver's license. Yes, it's an engineered wood. I can get into all the technical speak, but most of the time the consumer doesn't understand it anyway. So I'm telling them about durability. I'm showing them what they know to be true. When you ask the final question of, by the way, how many people in your home use your kitchen cabinets? They say everybody. If it's durable enough for the kitchen, it's certainly durable enough for your bedroom. Thank you.